let a and b be real numbers and a is not equal to zero. If a is rational and ab is irrational, then b is irrational. And we're going to give a proof of this. So proof. We're going to do a proof by contradiction. So we're going to get to assume that this is true. So we'll say suppose a is rational and a b is irrational and now we're going to use a proof by contradiction so we assume that our conclusion is false so we'll say uh, but suppose further To the contrary, just to emphasize that we're doing a proof by contradiction that B is rational. So if we reach something silly, we've completed the proof and therefore B must be irrational. So we assume this piece here and then the proof by contradiction comes into play by supposing to the contrary that B is rational, right? We're supposing it's not a rational, therefore it must be rational. Well, now we have that A is rational and B is rational. So since A and B are rational, that means we can write them as ratios of integers, then A is equal to N1, over m1 and b is equal to n2 over m2 where n1 m1 n2 m2 are integers and m1 is not equal to zero and m2 is not equal to zero that's what it means for those numbers to be rational. So now what we'll do is we'll look at a times b, right? Because we know a times b is supposed to be irrational. But note, a times b is going to be n1 over m1 times n2 over m2. So this is n1, n2, which is an integer because it's a product of integers, and m1 times m2, which is an integer uh, because it's a product of integers, and m1 times m2 is not equal to zero, and we know this because neither of the factors are zero. So they're both not zero, so the product is not zero. So thus, so this is an integer, this is an integer, it's not equal to zero, so thus a, b, is rational a contradiction. Thus, B must be irrational. So that's the, the logic. The logic is more important than anything in this problem. So, um, you know, I think that by saying, you know, to the contrary, that B is rational, then, you know, going through it and achieving a contradiction and then saying, okay, now it must be irrational, that really clarifies to the reader that you're doing a proof by contradiction. So uh, really important to have clarity in your arguments. Um, oh, and when you finish the proof, it's good to use a symbol. I use, I use this one. Good luck.